Michigan Magazine is kept on the road by our many Michigan friends. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Thunder Bay Resort, a destination for all seasons with special events and packages. Thunder Bay Resort in Hillman. Remembering good times and great food, Frank and Lisa invite you to Tim Lizzie's in Bio for a blast back to the 50s and 60s when food was made from scratch, including home ground Angus burgers. A full menu of great food and good memories await you at the new Tim Lizzie's of Bio. Kenyon's Resort of Lumpton, opening for the summer May 25th with plenty of great food, beverage, and live entertainment. Come enjoy the barbecue ribs and chicken cooked over a wood-burning grill. Then stay for the week or weekend with hotel, vacation home, or rent an island on beautiful Sage Lake. Call or visit them online at kenyonsresort.com. Hi, welcome to Michigan Magazine. I'm Barry Stutzman. Glad you could join us. The Michigan wine industry can trace its roots back to the late 1600s with the French explorers taking the wild grapes along the Detroit River and processing them into the first wines of the Great Lakes. Today, the business has grown fast at an amazing rate with the processing of not only grapes, but the bountiful other fruits grown in Michigan. Today on the show, we explore the proliferation of new wineries and vineyards along Michigan's Sunrise Side, Northeastern Lower Michigan. From an area virtually devoid of anything remotely resembling commercial wineries less than a decade ago, to today's scene where wineries producing award-winning products are being produced and shipped around the world from vineyards and orchards literally popping up across the state. It's nearly a billion dollar annual industry in Michigan, providing millions and millions of dollars to the state's tax coffers. And thousands of jobs are being added year to our state. Today we visit a couple of success stories on the Michigan wine scene, Rose Valley Winery of Rose City and Modern Craft Winery in All Gray. Plus, be sure and watch till the very end where we will have another word of the day, giving you a chance to be a winner of a wonderful Northern Michigan vacation getaway. It's all coming up on this week's Michigan Magazine. Vacation. Don't make the planning of it more than what you're trying to get away from. At NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com, you can choose from over 2,500 cabins, cottages, lodges, resorts, lakefront vacation home rentals, and more. Whatever experience you're looking for, from rustic to luxury and everything in between. No more rustling with telephone books. No more endless internet searches. Just one site with over 2,500 Northern Michigan destinations. NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com. Well, today is the second annual Fall Wine Festival that goes on today and tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we are having horse-drawn carriage rides by Triple P's out of Lupton. We also, as you can see in the background here, we had a pig roast today. Oh um, and Jerry Mueller is a caterer out of National City. Uh -huh. We are doing discounted wine pricing today. Oh we are having raffles and door prize drawings. Oh and we are also um, having tasting, tank tasting with the winemakers today. It's, it's an, all in celebration of our local wines that we've got here. Um, yes, actually the Sunrise Side Wine and Hops Trail is a newly uh, started wine and hops trail that we participate in. And it includes all the locally uh, grown wines, mm -hmm. winemakers, and microbrews in the area. And yes, we do grow a lot of fruits, and we can actually grow grapes on this side of the state, which no one would ever believe you could. Right. They told my dad a long time ago that they couldn't grow grapes here, but we grow the cold, hardy hybrids, and mm -hmm. they, they adapt well. They don't need snow to insulate the grapevines. They're actually able to withstand temperatures up to negative 40 degrees and still bear fruit the following year. Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I see the uh, wines just coming right off the shelves there. Got a few bare spots. What's the, the upcoming wines that are going to be replaced? those or are you, do you have a lot of wine to make it to the winter tell me what's happening there we're really worried <laughs> uh, don't be worried don't be worried we have plenty of wine um, we actually uh, have about 19 varieties of wine right now on the shelves okay. we have blackberry or blueberry excuse me coming out uh -huh. in about two weeks we'll be ready to bottle that we will have a raspberry wine that'll be out about thanks or excuse me off about 
nah, I'm going to say February at the late end, probably a little bit closer to Christmas. But then we have all of our wines that we just harvested because they're now in the process of fermenting ah. and aging. So we just replenished our stockpiles. Right so. so no need to worry, especially for the upcoming Christmas season, right? And the holidays. Oh, we will have plenty of wine oh for Christmas. My. No need to worry about that at all. So we're looking forward to next year already. I mean, this is a two-day event. The mm -hmm. other uh, winery in town, Valley Mist, is taking part. Right. And you have uh, rides going from there to there. And, and they've got a fine selection, too. But we're looking forward to next year. What uh, Any plans or dates? Is it specifically this time of the year? Or what? Yeah, we always have it just so that we can uh, eliminate the harvest time crunch. We can't really have a party during harvest oh, time. Yeah. So we need to wait till after that. But it's the last weekend in October. Okay. I believe the dates are the 25th and the 26th. Okay. We also, in case you weren't aware, we have gourmet wine dinners at the winery here. And we have a tent. We do them outside. We have it catered by a local caterer. And the dates for those are June 15th and August 24th for 2013. So you don't have to wait around uh, till the fall of the year to celebrate and have a good time out That's here. That's correct. Lot of we try out. to do it every other week or every other month in the summertime just to have parties here and let people know that we can do a lot more than just have a wine tasting right. or teach you how to make wine or grow grapes. We can also host a really nice party too. It's been a blast. Thank you very much, Stephanie. Oh, and we wish you the you. best luck and we'll see you here next year too. Oh, definitely. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, what do you think? I mean, the people are coming out. Are you seeing any new faces out here? Oh, yes. 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 Tons of them today. Where they're coming from? I know that they're they're coming from out of the county. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. well, actually, we got people here from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And they're they're customers of ours, and they came back. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're expanding our geographic uh, yeah. attraction area. Yeah. And, and your website is dynamite. I love what you're doing with the website. Thank you. Thank you. And that's an easy way to get online. And uh, mm -hmm. can people purchase wine online nowadays? Or We're just, we're, we're on the cusp of making that happen. But all in all, it's uh, the flavor of Michigan that's coming through, which is kind of surprising to many people that we've got uh, what we've got here. Yes, right. Michigan is, uh, not only the state of Michigan is becoming moving to the forefront of winemaking from a national mm -hmm. point of view mm -hmm. but northeastern michigan is doing the same mm -hmm. uh, we, we think that our wine is uh, equivalent to anything else that's produced in the state uh -huh. well, and you've got people who agree with that i understand you've got some awards and recognition too that's correct we did we won our, our port wine port style wine to best of show at uh, the uh, uncorked and untapped in Taos this past summer uh -huh. and so We'll enter some other others. We're taking it easy on the competition. <laughs> not. There you go. By not entering. My Why daughter not? is taking a, a very active role. Mm -hmm. In fact, she was 90% responsible for the the uh, this weekend. Oh, okay. So she's a good organizer and a planner and, a, and so on. So we're we're happy to have her aboard. Uh -huh. And uh, and she'll probably end up continuing the tradition of the family by making wine. Well, this is a family event, you know, people are partaking of the wine, but there's kids here, they're taking the rides, they're listening to music and having a good meal out here. I see you bring a lot of Michigan uh, businesses into play, you know, the, the horses and the caterer, the uh, the music, I mean, it's uh, really a Michigan event here. Yes, it is, it certainly is, and we want to keep it that way uh -huh. and promote anything we can that is local you, and Michigan. You've come quite a way, I mean, is this surprising to you? Uh, not really, well, because here. my husband makes wonderful wine. Yeah, he does. Well, he, he's been doing this as a hobby before this, right? Yes. yes. I mean, Since 1968. Yes. 1968. And uh, were you surprised, or were you in on the thing, the, the, the dream to make this a reality? I, I was in the um, beginning stages when he planted the first vineyard. Oh, we okay. were just dating at that time. Oh, really? And okay. um, on our first date, he brought me a bottle of his wine, uh -huh. and I thought, well, he's just full of himself. <laughs> and then I tasted it, and it was the best wine I ever had. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. See, so good you, wine. Folks, if you really want to date a girl, <laughs> <laughs> win her heart, come and buy some of our <laughs> wine. There you wine. go. Rosebelly <laughs> Wine. You guys are doing a great job and you're really promoting the community and bringing that great quality product to Michigan and the people here. Thank, Thank you, you very much for you're doing very what well. you're doing. Michigan Magazine is being brought to you in part by 
Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, what began as a crazy idea among nine police officers to purchase the historic Clare City Bakery, quickly became an international phenomenon, carrying out a Michigan tradition with delicious donuts, pies, pastries, breads, original coffee, and more, plus a full menu at the new adjacent Traffic Stop Diner. Downtown Clare, a winning combination, Cops and Donuts. Clemex Sales and Service on Mapes Road, west of Mile, your complete recreational vehicle sales and service connection. Visit their beautiful showroom of new and pre-owned ATVs, lawnmowers, power equipment, snowmobiles, utility vehicles, and more. Clemex Sales and Service is also the home of the American-made Victory Motorcycle Line on display at Clemex on Mapes Road, Mayo. Shopping for that special person just got easier when you shop at Rose City Drug at 2640 North M33, just south of the Rose City City Limits. You'll find gifts for everyone on your list from 1 to 100. Shop online or in person at Rose City Drug, Rose City. Jerry's joined at West Branch and with the best burgers in town. Jerry's has a full menu, but when you order the burgers steaming hot, they're made the way you like it. Stacked time, made to order, add fries, and you've got a complete meal. Jerry's joined at West Branch, home of the best burgers in town. The art of winemaking in Michigan can be traced back to the mid to late 1600s when French explorers made wine from wild grapes discovered along the Detroit River. A few decades later, settlers reportedly established a vineyard at Detroit's Fort Pontchartrain. Michigan became a leader in the wine industry until Prohibition. After the repeal of Prohibition, many new wineries opened and relocated to the southwest part of the state where companies like St. Julian and Warner Vineyards survived by selling their grapes to the Welch's company for grape juice. The evolution of winemaking in Michigan has a fascinating history. You can learn more about online at michiganwines.com. In fairly recent years, the wine industry in our state has become a force to be reckoned with, with many new wineries and independent tasting rooms coming into existence at an amazing rate. Today, skillful winemakers are producing first-rate wines, not only from grapes, but from fruits that thrive in our soils. Earlier, we told you about Rose Valley Winery and Valley Mist, both of Rose City, who've created a fall festival out of their body. Now we visit a brand new winery based out of all gray that's gone one step further in creating a cutting edge technology for winemaking that makes the process from fruit to wine faster and the flavor award winning. It's Modern Craft Winery and we talked with co-owner Jeffrey and staff at their headquarters and tasting room near the shores of Lake Huron where it soon became evident that Jeff and his partner's inspiration came from first being a fan of Michigan wines. We moved up to Agre about three and a half years ago, uh, my wife and I and children. Um, our neighbor, Herb and Hemmenbacher, was making wine for years. Um, he was getting to the point where he couldn't make wine anymore. I had told Herb, I said, if you still want to make wine, you know, I'll do the grunt work for you. And my son and I went over there and helped him crush his grapes. And, you know, I really didn't know how wine was made, so it kind of intrigued me. And I started messing around in the house, making different fruit wines, taking the wife's spare rooms up, closets, and um, about a year and a half ago, we started going to this Tuesday night get-together, and we met another couple, Tom and Melissa Nixon. Uh, Tom was making wine and beers, messing around with it for about the same amount of time, and the second time, Tuesday, we got together, we brought a bottle of our homemade wines, where you know, taste them and we're talking about, you know, well, we should we should try something. Uh, the third time it was at our house, it was a Tuesday night, and we decided to sit down and mess around with the licensing process. Um, so we started licensing, and this was about April of last year, and by November 11th, we were fully licensed, operational, and open. So we really worked hard at it, did all the remodeling, fine-tuned our recipes. Our wife's, you know, making the homemade wines. You know, our wife said, you guys can't sell that stuff, it tastes nasty. Well, so we really fine-tuned our recipes, really made wines that people like and enjoy, and here we are. And what was, uh, what was the key to make that the way that people like Trial and error. Trial we did a lot of error. trial and error. Throughout the process, we came up with two different techniques that we use that we could patent, but we're keeping proprietary, uh -huh. um, that speed up the process and we can actually make wine taste like this in a shorter period of time. 
We went into the winemaking thinking we would, we would like to make wine that everyone likes. So if we have someone that comes in that likes dry wines, you know, we have dry wines. We have some unique wines. We have a kiwi wine. Uh, we have a grapefruit wine. We have wines. We have also ice wines, a reasonably priced ice wine that we also taste at events. You got any surprises coming up? Any new things or? Yes, we have a watermelon wine oh. that will be released coming up. It, the flavor really turned out good. It's almost like eating a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's <laughs> going to be another very unique one. The ultimate goal is get our wines in throughout Michigan and then throughout the rest of the U.S. Here we are in the tasting room in All Grain, Michigan, Sherry Coast. Sherry, you've got quite the product. Tell us a little bit about the wines you've got here. Well, we have an amazing selection of wines ranging from our varietal grape, the white and the reds, all the way to fruit wines, meads, maple syrup wines, maple syrup. dessert wines. What kind of person uh, walks through those doors? Are they a discriminating taste? We get a wide range of people. The wine connoisseur to the person who is just curious and, and interested to see if they do like wines. Mm -hmm. And 99.9% .9 of the people realize they do like modern craft wines. Okay, so when people come through the door, they might be a little shy, they might think, oh gosh, I don't know what to do, I've never been in the wine tasting room. Go through the process, what do we do? Can we actually taste some wine before we buy? Yes, you are definitely welcome any day of the week. Mm -hmm. When you come in, you'll be welcome to Modern Craft Winery and offered six complimentary tastes. They're half ounces each. Okay. And you can choose from our 20-some varieties, the six that most appeal to you. We can give you a wonderful explanation, a description of each of the different wines. Mm -hmm. And when something triggers your interest, right. those are the ones you want to taste. And it's also a nice time to taste something that you've never tasted before, like our kiwi wine or pomegranate. We get amazing responses on all our wines. It just depends on the individual. Oh, okay. But right now, our Red Haven Peach which is a white Chardonnay infused with the Michigan Red Haven peaches, is one of our best-selling fruit wines. And then we have a newly bottled wine called Grapefruit Blush, which is giving it a run for its money, so it might take the lead. Okay, Tom, I tell you what, we've got something going here in northeastern Michigan that is just really dynamic as far as uh, finding something like this out that I didn't realize we've got such a wine industry. Tell us a little bit about what's what's been happening here in northeast Michigan. Well, thanks a lot, Barry. Um, we're very excited uh, here at Modern Craft because we're part of something called the Sunrise Side Wine and Hops Trail. Uh, it's an alliance of all the wineries, um, craft breweries, and several featured attractions here in Northeast Michigan. Um, just to kind of follow the map, um, uh, you can start with uh, obviously Modern Craft down here in Augray. We're the southernmost winery. We have two wineries in Rose City, uh, Valley Mist and uh, Rose Valley Winery. Um, following the map up to Hillman, um, Thunder Bay uh, Resort in their elk viewing um, is a featured attraction. In Alpena, um, we have uh, Fletcher Street Brewing Company. We're very excited to have them aboard because, aboard because it is a wine and hops uh, trail. Uh, we also have uh, Stony Acres, which is a well-established winery in this neck of the woods. And kind of a new kid on the block, Thunder Bay Winery, um, just started in the uh, summer of 2012. Uh, uh, following the map down, we have a tasting room in Harrisville. I forgot to mention the one in West Branch. Um, and then Wilsey's Blue Brew Pub in uh, Oscoda um, does a great job uh, making craft beers there as well. Um, and then also in Oscoda, um, in season, obviously, the Asable River Queen. Take a tour on the uh, uh, on the Queen on the Asable River. Uh, we have, in here in Augray, we have Charity Island Excursions. Uh, they'll take you out on a boat, uh, uh, feed you a gourmet meal on the island, and watch the sunset on the return trip. So we're very, very excited. These are the core members of the trail. Um, we have a number of businesses and uh, groups in Northeast Michigan looking to join with us. And what this is really about is positively affecting the economy um, of Northeast Michigan. Uh, working together, we found that uh, we can accomplish a great deal. I think what's impressed me most uh, since this alliance or the group has gotten together is the caliber um, of people from each of the members. Um, 
uh, just an exceptional people and uh, uh, I think each member brings their own strength uh, to the table. Uh, together everyone achieves more and uh, uh, I look forward to great things uh, with the trail going forward um, because uh, of just people working together. That's what it's all about and not just promoting an individual business but the entire region is a destination for folks to come. And that's what it's become. Michigan Magazine is helping celebrate Michigan's bounty by inviting you all to climb aboard our luxurious motor coach for a wine and tasting tour on the Sunrise side. For more information on our tour, visit our website at michiganmagazinetv.webs.com. Hey, that's all the time we've got for this edition of Michigan Magazine. I've got to hit the road. But before I do, here's the word of the day. Are you ready? It's vintner. A winemaker or vintner is a person engaged in winemaking. Today's modern vintner's duties require an increasing amount of scientific knowledge since lab tests are gradually replacing traditional methods. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you here next week for another edition of Michigan Magazine. We'd like to thank all those that help keep Michigan Magazine on the road. Thunder Bay Resort, a destination for all seasons with special events and packages. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. The Michigan-made rebounding mailbox pole. Never again worry about the winter snowplow taking out your mailbox with this ingenious rebounding pole. Your mailbox takes a hit and keeps coming back year after year. Call now or visit their website, toughmailboxes.com. Hale Hardware, your do-it center at Hale, Michigan. Much more than a regular hardware store, providing everything you need for whatever you're project is, along with a knowledgeable sales staff to get her done. Serving Northern Michigan since 1946. Hale Hardware, south of M65 at Ainsley in Hale. Discount Foods, downtown Mayo. Find national name brand foods and merchandise at sharply discounted prices. Shop the smart way and please the family without breaking the budget. Discount Foods, downtown Mayo. Hingeman Acres, canoe livery and resort on M33, just north of Mayo. Catering to the outdoor enthusiasts. Cabins, canoes, kayaks, rafts, and more. Daytime or over night trips along the world-famous Asabo River, a family getaway for over 75 years.